So here we have an Excel spreadsheet of a list of movies from the IMDb database. And it gives us the title, the genre, year, uh, the duration in minutes, the language, country, movie rating, and a number of other fields that we could use to analyze. What we want to do is we want to use pivot tables to help us create categories and allow us to see some summary measures such as you know, the average uh, gross revenue for action movies, the average gross revenue for PG-13 movies, the uh, count of movies within a particular category, and we can slice and dice the data in any number of ways. And this will give us the ability to really view the data in a different way than what we can see here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the pivot table from this data set. And we're going to click insert at the top and we're going to use the pivot table option up here on the left. Once we do that, it's going to ask us for a table and range, and it will be our entire data set here from 1 to 4521. Now, what that will do is that will give us another spreadsheet because we've asked it to move to another spreadsheet, and the pivot table will be built on the left. On the right side, you see here that we're given a pivot table builder, and what this will do is this will allow us to choose the field names that we want and put them into things such as filters, which would be items that we want to filter on so that we can exclude or include certain options, uh, what columns we are looking for if necessary, the rows associated with the fields that we're looking for, and the values which are going to be the summary measures that we're going to use for a given set of fields. So the first one we're going to basically take here is we're going to try and choose the year. And we'll move the year down to the rows. And you can see it gives us all the years of an associated set of movies. Now, technically, that doesn't give us anything that we want, but as you can see, we can drag the year down to a particular, uh, to a particular row. What we might want to do is we might want to move that over to the values. Now, here we see that we have count of year. So it basically tells us, in this case, because it's all we have, it's just the, the count of the number of uh, items that we have in our database. So that's why it says 4519. Now, what we could do is we could move that back to rows, and you can see it gives us the individual rows. But this time, what I'm going to do is we're going to move title into the values. And what this will do is this will give us the summary measure of the titles for the given year. And you can see here that in 1916, we have one movie title, and down a little bit further, 1970, we have 10 movie titles, and that's in this database. So this is not to say that those are the only movies that were created, it's just what was in the database. Now, we can remove this if we want, take this out, we'll bring this back up here, and you can see it removes it, and we'll remove year as well. Now, what we'll do is we'll say, well, we want to focus on movie ratings, so let's take the movie ratings, we'll bring that down here, and you can see these are the list of movie ratings that we have, G, M, NC-17, not rated, PG, PG-13, and R. What we might want to do is we might want to see the titles, the number of titles that we have within each of them. So when we move this down to values, it will give us the count of the number of titles. So you can see we have 112 G-rated movies, we have 5 mature-rated movies, 7 NC-17s, and we move a little further down and we can see that we have 1,400 PG-13s and 2,100 R-rated movies for a grand total of 4520. What we might want to do now is we might want to say, okay, let's take the budget. Let's move the budget down into here. Now, it gives us the count of the budget, and it's just the number of rows that actually have a budget associated with it. So the difference in the numbers here is that some of the movies that are listed actually don't have a budget associated with it. But for us, that's not what we're looking for. So we're going to click the little eye icon over here to the right. We'd like to know the average budget of each of these films within the ratings. And as you can see, we have a budget here of $44 million. Here we have 47 million, here we have 7.9 million, 4 million, 48 million, 54 million, and 33 million. And we might want to include the gross earnings in there as well. And it will, again, it gives us the default of the count, so we'll click the I, and we'll change this to average. We click OK, and it will give us the average gross earnings, so we can see the difference between the two. What we might like to do at this point is we might want to break this down even further by country. So we'll choose the country, and we'll say we want to do this by 
each one of the movie ratings. So we'll grab country and we'll move it down below movie ratings. So now what it'll do is it'll take the same values and it will give us within each of the countries, it will give us the associated average budget, the number of titles uh, within the given uh, rating, within the given movie rating. So once again, the number of items that you can have in your values includes the sum, the count, the average, max, min, you can do product, which is the multiplication, count numbers, and standard deviation if you wish. Now, if we want to, we can actually add a filter instead. So we can actually move country up into the filters up here, and we can then say we only want the United States. So we'll uncheck the select all, and we'll say only give us these those movies in the United States. And so what will happen is, is that our pivot table will now only use those items in the United States and give us the individual items. So country, the filters here will act at the top to filter any of the data that we want so that our pivot tables will change appropriately. Our movie ratings act as our rows and give us the ability to itemize each of the ratings themselves. What we could further do, as we had shown, is we might actually take any one of the other fields and move those fields into the rows so that we can have a, uh, a breakdown. So we might actually move the genre down underneath the movie ratings and we could see that we have a whole bunch of different genres and this acts as a nested type of uh, view. We're going to remove that right now and what we're going to do is we're going to just one more time we're going to bring in something such as duration we're going to grab the duration and bring it into, but we're going to put it between the count title and the average budget numbers. And we're going to change this duration to an average duration. And when we do that, we see the average duration in minutes for each one of those uh, individual ratings of movies.